Hello, everybody. So, I thought I'd carry on with um, the misadventures of Mr. R. Um, I've already done three. I might as well finish it. I think we're about halfway through. Um, so, as you can see from uh, the clip here, just a sort of a bit of a catch-up, um, he obviously knows what's going on at this point. He knows that... Um, you know, that it's Dateline or something similar to that. He probably doesn't know the exact ins and outs of the show. Um, well, I mean, he has seen it before. But, yeah, I mean, suffice to say, he knows what's going on. He's resigned himself to the situation. Um, he's trying. He's tried to wriggle out of it a little bit, as one would expect. Um, and the, I cut the last one, just as Chris said, you know, you look like a guy who's got it together. Why can't you find women your own age? So let's um, let's see where we go from here, shall we? What is? I don't know why I'm here. Jesus. I mean, was it the allure? Of, I don't know. Of... I really, honestly, and you're right, of some forbidden could be fantasy. Is that must what's be going it. on? I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth. You know, I don't and, know. And I'm, and I'm not trying to be. It's a good question, isn't it? I'm a hard guy about it. I know. But I'm just trying to understand it, that's all. I know. I don't... <laughs> I'm cutting it already, like, you know. Well, it is a commentary, so, you know, I'm supposed to pause it. Maybe not as much, but... That's what I like about Chris. There's no ego. He's all... He's just trying to understand. Primarily, he's a journalist. He's trying to get decent TV. Let's not kid ourselves. But the way he speaks to them, with respect... It's the best way to do it. There's no point going hell for leather at these guys because you won't get, you know, you just, if you can come across like you're understanding and respectful, you're more likely to get something out of them. And I, I think that's why as many people speak as what they do. You know, just imagine if it was some big bruiser who's like, you fucking pervert, I'm going to fuck, you know, they're not going to stand there and tell them everything, are they? Although it would, you know, obviously there would be co comical elements to see them get their heads bashed in, but, um, you know, let's keep it real. You know what, I wish I understood it. I don't know if it was, like you said, just because it was forbidden, or, I don't know. I wish I could tell you. Because the I can tell, is I very wish I could... clear on a 13-year-old. I mean, just the chat. Probably wasn't a good idea. Illegal. Is it really? Against the law. Just to talk to somebody? I mean, with, to, to, to oh, solicit with for sex. But I wasn't you know, soliciting for well, sex. I know, but really I'm not the prosecutor, I'm not the police. But I'm just saying, you know what you said. It was well, sexually I mean, we turn in all this stuff to and to? We're, we're, really, we're really getting this for a story. Law enforcement does what law enforcement does, we do what we do. So you just give them like that? I, 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 personally, I personally don't. I mean, you see, he's a clever guy. Even though he's already seen the show, you don't know if he's actually sat down and watched it and actually thought about it. Now, of course, he, he had an idea of the kind of show shows that were going around. He's, he, he's aware of what they do. But for him to be in this situation now and start saying, right, are you going to send them all this footage? What are you going to do with it? Um, he's starting to... His brain is starting to process what's going on and he's trying to figure out now... He's going a little bit further down the path and he's trying to figure out what's going to happen, how much footage they're going to get, what they're going to use. You know, let's sort of look at somebody who's a bit clueless. <laughs> like our good friend L. He still doesn't know what the fuck he... <laughs> he still doesn't get it now. <laughs> Did you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just made myself laugh sometimes. Do you know what I do sometimes, right, when I'm at work? Sometimes, I just like, I'm doing whatever, and I'll just burst into laughter when nothing's happening, because I'll start thinking about, like, a funny Simpsons clip or something. But some people must think I'm nuts. Well, I am, but... Anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, he's, he's trying to piece together what's going on, um, you know, to see... He just wants to understand it, doesn't he? He wants to know everything that's going to happen. It's the, 
you know it's the t- it's the signs of a of a curious mind a curious predator of you know intellectual mind he's trying to understand it he wants to, a bit of a control freak but of course you know you'd want to know wouldn't you some people don't they just try and you know they run away and try and bury their heads under the sand he wants to know exactly what's going on this is we use this for the story and you know that the law enforcement part of it is just okay. totally separate like i said my life is pretty much going to right now and i <laughs> you got that right i hate the fact that i just made an even bigger mistake and probably just cost myself everything else my friends well, of course you do trust my job everything I just want to get help, and I know that's probably not going to happen. But I just, I wish I could, well, I wish I wouldn't have done something stupid like this, but I wish I could just find help. Well, help is out there. Yeah, the time to get help would have been before he turned up at the house. You know, it's ridiculous to, you understand what he's trying to, you know, why he's trying to say what he's doing, but of course... You know, the only reason he's saying I should get help is because he's been caught. 20 minutes ago, literally 20 minutes ago before he's speaking there, he was trying to meet this girl. And he would have had, he would, you can't say for certain. This is the thing with To Catch a Predator, right? The, it's the, the hypothetical crimes, aren't they? Well, it's not strictly true, is it? Because the crime's already been committed when you're online. You can't know for certain in any situation, whether they would have been able to go through with it. I do believe, I don't think it's him, but I do believe there will have been some predators, or whatever you want to refer to them as, that when it came down to the crunch, they wouldn't have gone through with it. I I don't know. Maybe that's just my sort of positive kind of outlook trying to come to the surface there because I'm thinking well some people will have had a a bit of a realisation that what they were doing is inherently wrong but I'd like to think that I don't think that's the case with him it's like you know our friend L I'm not going to say his name for guideline and harassment purposes you know what I'm talking about LA let's call him LA today Um, for all the videos I've made about that guy right And all the time that we've spent looking at him and laughing at him and ridiculing him and calling him horrible and disgusting, we don't know what he would have done. Do you know what I mean? I think it's pretty clear. We all got a good idea. But, you know, what would this guy have done? You know, he, even probably he, or maybe not him, but even some people wouldn't know. Because unless you're faced, you know, unless you're in that situation, you know, it's like you're trying to prepare yourself for, let's say, this is a pretty bad analogy, but I'll run with it anyway. You know, you like training for something. Um, let's say you're a, a sniper and you're training for like a firefight situation or whatever. And, um, well, it's. It's not firefighting, it's a sniper, is it? But you get what I mean. Let's just say you, you're training for combat and you're a soldier or something. You never got none, you never, despite all the training in the world that you could have hundreds, thousands of hours of training, you're never going to know how you react until you're in that situation. So we don't know for certain. We can all have a pretty educated guess. So let's look at the facts. He's spent. A long time talking to this girl. He got her to sort of um, do certain things and talk a certain way and flash parts of her body and do this and do that. Sexual content. And he's turned up. So, you know, obviously his intent is clear, but what he would have done we will never know. Um, I would say my personal opinion, it's just an opinion, is that he would have gone through with it because he's a teacher and he's he's in that situation all the time with girls that age. So he's developed, like I've said before, I don't know whether he developed it after he became a teacher or before, that is an interesting topic, but he will have been in situations close to these girls. So he's, 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 it's not a, 
because he's been in that situation, whether he's taught him gym or something like that, probably not, because that's not. I don't think that's what he teaches. But he will have probably put himself in situations where he's seen these girls, you know, in 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 provocative situations, or looked at them a certain way, or spoke to them a certain way. So it's become it's more of a reality for him rather than someone that has just thought about it, has just talked about it online, has never actually come face to face. Because if you think about the sort of um, what happened with um, LA, when you look at the footage and he's there with Kayla, or Casey, whatever you want to call her, he's a little bit nervous. You know, Casey's playing the part of the dom- of the more sort of domineering character a dominating character you know what I mean because she's sort of above him and he's a bit coy and do you know what I mean because he's never been in that it's all it's all been a fantasy really um for a lot of these people some of them chat and never turn up but that's an interesting topic about something I wanted to speak about in other videos it's um, a comparison with has anybody seen um the case of the cannibal cop um i'm going to draw some please watch it if you get time it's very very good i'm going to draw some comparisons with that in later videos that's why i wish i mean and I'll, if i don't end up in jail i hope i don't end up in jail for this stupid mistake i don't want to throw away my life or something have you ever gone to visit somebody who's underage before no have you ever chatted with somebody who's underage before on the internet? I have, and like yeah. I said, I don't know if it was just the kind of allure and the fantasy. So how many times do you figure you've done that in the past? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the internet's been around since I was that age. And I guess as I grew up, I just, you know, I would chat and things like that. Probably more than I should have. I don't know. But, I mean, no, I've, like I, I know you said, and I, I saw it on the damn show, every one of them walked in, and I'm sorry, I'll, I'll watch my language. Um, Every one of them watched it. I've never done this, and I'm sure some of them had. I really haven't. I don't know why I did it. But you have chatted with underage have, kids. But never with the intention that I was really going to do something. And then today it was like... But these conversations were sexual in nature? Yeah, sometimes. And that's one of the things, like I, I said, I think it was before these guys even came out. And I know it was, actually. I've thought many times, how do I stop this? How do I get... And I, I guess... Not like this is an embarrassing attack. So, this is quite an interesting element, isn't it? He's admitted to talking to other girls, whether they be decoys, probably real people, because if they were decoys, we'd probably know about it. But um, he's admitted to talking to girls in this manner before, um, which is quite a big thing to admit. Is he admitting it because he just wants to come clean and get it all off his chest and you know, finally you can kind of open up. Is it some kind of tactic um, to appear more um, sort of genuine? Because if you kind of own up to it and you're putting all your cards on the table, it gives you a little bit more credibility, doesn't it? Because he's intelligent enough to know that every single person that stands up there will have gone, oh, I've never done this before, it's a one-off, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, that kind of thing. But I was always just too embarrassed to even go talk to a counselor or talk to a therapist and say, look, I think I've got a problem. Here's what I do. Why? How do I fix this? How do I help myself? I mean, how often do you figure that you've talked to somebody who's underage? This age, not. I mean, like I said, I was just, I was in, I was in an adult room. I was talking to people that were. You see, Chris wants to know the, the finite details, doesn't he? He's trying to drill down, you know, how many times have you done it? What did you do? You know, it's journalism, isn't it? 20, 25. And I was just clicking on random names and, you know, just chatting with girls, guys, I mean, not, not sexually, usually. And I clicked on hers and we started talking and I even think at first I was like, oh, I was a little young and I know I've been trying not to do that. I really have. I thought, well, it's innocent enough. We're just chatting about stupid stuff, whatever, no big deal. I mean, I do the same thing at school. But it, it almost appears, if you look at this, like there was a grooming process. Like you you know, I remember you said that, and I even, I've, I've examined, do I do that? I mean, is that what I'm doing when I'm on here? I, I remember hearing that and thinking, is that me? Is that what I'm doing? It's an interesting point, 
that they're bringing up and I, I i do buy into it that some of them won't realize they're actually grooming because grooming in certain situations some people will sit down and, and work out how they're going to groom certain children it will be a calculated endeavor um in a lot of cases they are just sort of rolling with it and I believe that's the case for our friend LA and I mentioned this in videos I did about the chat log I don't necessarily think he sat down well I know he didn't sit down with some kind of master plan and say right I'm going to groom her by doing this this and this he's, he's kind of going with the flow he, he he's making up the tactics as he goes along because by manipulation grooming is manipulation um it's not hard to manipulate somebody a lot younger than you are, um, especially when they're not an adult yet. It's very easy, which is why these fuckers do it. Um, so, what he's saying is he didn't realise that he was grooming them. It's just kind of a thing that he got caught up in. I can, I can, un I can buy into that. I can understand how that can be the case. That doesn't mean that it's any worse or better just means that he got he knew what he was doing was wrong that's the thing that's the the, the one thing that you've always got to you know look at the, did they know that what they were doing was wrong and did they have the opportunity to stop and the answer to both of those questions in all of these cases well not all but 99 percent of them is yes um for someone who's more intelligent like him, it's even worse because he should know better. Um, and he knew, because he's got more to lose, it's more of a risky strategy, isn't it? Of course, you know, some, it's like I said, I think it was the last one when I was talking about a comparison between him and somebody like that Keith Williams, who's like, um, I think he'd been in prison before. It's not a big deal to some of these people going down because they're not, some people's lives are in and out of prison all the life. So it's not a big deal. Some people actually like life inside. They get that used to it. So for, it's not a it's not a huge deal for some of them. But for someone like him, it's massive. I, I didn't think of it like that. I don't, I don't know how many studies hmm. there have been on how, obviously, I'm something I didn't think I was. But as, I don't, a, as a teacher... Obviously, you read the I stuff know. about making sure kids don't fall prey to stuff like this. I don't. Right? In school, I've never, ever crossed that line. Ever. I've never even considered it when I was with kids. But I'm, I, I, I'm, not, I I'm not even suggesting that. What I am suggesting is, as a teacher, you're exposed to the material that explains how this can happen, what to look for in your students to make sure they don't fall prey to this sort of thing. And here you are involved in this kind of activity. I don't know how I'm going to tell anybody. I wish I didn't have to. Why am I here? I mean, if you saw the stories and you're up on the material and you realize the danger, that must say something about the allure, at least for you, of this sort of activity. Sorry. And again, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. Yeah. I'm just trying to get it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about... Oh, Jesus, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know why I did it. Like I said, I've never, ever crossed a line like that with a, a, a person that I was a student. Ever. Not even thought about it. I guess maybe it was just like online, it was like they weren't real. It's all pretend. That's kind of what it feels like, I think. But it was real when you walked in that door. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's I, a good point. Like I, it's a great point, isn't it? What he's saying is, you know, it, like I've said, it was a fantasy. It wasn't real. But then he hears the girl's voice, and then it's very real. And at that point, you've got the opportunity to leave. I said I'd seen... Has, hasn't, haven't there been two of these? Or just one? Three. Three? 
I'd seen them. I knew that was a possibility. And I thought, why would I throw my life away for this? And I just kept driving. I don't know why. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell America. I wish I could tell everybody that I'm going to have to tell. What do you say to other men your age who are now in chat rooms talking to girls, underage girls? What do you say to them? What would I say, having been here? Having... Yeah. Why are you doing this? I, 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 and I, I can't say I don't feel really hypocritical. But I would be like, you know, look, you need to step back and figure out what your intentions are. Is this worth it? And for what? I mean, I, I, I'm serious. I know that doesn't look good. Honestly, on the way, I thought, you know what, I'll just hang out, watch a movie, and go home. I don't it's want... It's a long way to drive to hang out and watch a movie. Right, movies. and I know, it, like I said, it doesn't look good. It sounds like I'm just full of BS. Yeah, it does. But I thought, you know, she's a kid. She's half my age. I'm not going to do something like that to her. And I know, I mean, everybody... I mean, despite his apparent openness and candor, he's still refusing to say that he came there for anything sexual, which we, uh, uh, you know, as I've said, it is, we can't know for certain. But, of course, <laughs> he he knows about the show, right? He knows what he's got to lose, and he's got a pretty good idea of how the law works, and he's an, an intelligent guy. So, if he isn't going to do anything sexual, why the fuck would he go? Why would he risk everything for nothing? You know, the, the sort of attraction that humans feel towards the opposite sex, the pull that exists is one of the strongest in nature. So that pull can pretty much, you can pretty much justify anything if you've not got a lot of self-control. So, you know, um, there's no way on earth, as I'm sure most people will agree, if not all, that he just went there just to hang out. You know what I mean? Everybody out there is going to think I'm a fool, but, but that's really the whole way up here, back and forth again. Why should I just turn around? Should I go somewhere else? Should I just go, you know, pull over and cry because my life's crap right now? And, and then, here I am. But what would I say? I, I don't know. Why Why are you here? Have you really thought about this? Have you thought about the consequences for yourself? Have you thought about the consequences if you guys weren't here? What could have happened? Even if, the, even if it hadn't been this, even if, even if nothing had happened, I could have messed her life up. I mean... You know how vulnerable a 13-year-old kid I mean, can be. You've got him Like I heart. said, I don't ever... I don't know if it was the internet. Like I said, it just, I think something about it, even when I was, when I was that age, it was like it wasn't real. I'm talking to people that it's, you know, it's people you don't know. You can chat about politics or cars or sports or obviously sex, but it's like it's not real. You know, if they get mad or you get mad at them, you never have to see them again. He's right, because this is the danger with a lot of... I've been reading quite a lot about online communities um, and things and how they are, in most cases, inherently dysfunctional and toxic. Because <laughs> you're interacting with people, but you're not doing the most important thing, which is that human... Um, interaction, you know, that how we're meant to exist, we're social creatures, you know. But the problem is when you do all this online thing, y y you're interacting with people, but you're not getting that, you're not getting, to, this is going to sound a bit fruity, right, but you're not feeling that other person's aura, you're not in their presence, 
there is more that goes on than just mines that you I'm not going to go into it too much, but what happens is you, it's just your minds playing and nothing else. Now, minds by themselves are totally dysfunctional. Uh, the mind as a servant is fantastic. The mind as a master is fucking insane. Um, so when you're only involved in online communities and you know you only interact with people that way, you become fucked up. There's no doubt about it. Um, so I get that it's not real. But if you spend a lot of time doing that, there's nothing wrong with the online thing, obviously. As long as you spend, as long as you have genuine friends and real friendships and real interactions with people more often than the other side. Um, and that's, you know, I've noticed a lot. I'm going off on a tangent here, but I'll carry on. I've noticed a lot, and we've sp I've spoke about it with some of my friends, and they've got kids that are like 16, 17, and they've grown up, virtually grown up, completely been brought up by social media. It's something that the planet has never seen before. And this, th this isn't for all of them, obviously, but a lot of these kids now, they, they're, they're fucking clueless. That it's unbelievable. There's this girl at work. She's like eighteen or something, and she does a bit of admin work in that. And you sit behind a computer, and she's like a genius. She she's she's like Chloe off twenty four. You know what I mean? Um, you try have a conversation with her, and you might as well talk to a dead parrot. You, I've never known anything like it. She can't make eye contact with you. She's got no, um personality comes across it's like her only true interactions have been online and that's a problem that's i think einstein said when he was he made some kind of comment that when people get fixated on screens and and the something i can't remember the exact quote but basically what he said was he kind of predicted mobile phones and uh to a you know we didn't say oh well, you're gonna have mobiles and they're gonna have your itunes on and all that of course it wasn't anything that specific but he kind of predicted what was going to happen. He said, if you have people staring at screens, it's going to be a fucking planet full of idiots. And that's exactly what's happening. Um, and, you know, we're all guilty. You know, we, you know, I've got a smartphone because it's fucking convenient. It's got all my music on it and all that. And, you know, I have to try and manage my smartphone addiction because whenever there's a few seconds, I always look at it. Even though I know there's nothing to look at. Um, anyway... I digress, as I usually do. And I don't know what... I don't, want, I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses. I don't know if it was just that this week pushed me over the edge, and that's why I crossed this line. I really never have just driven to meet a 13-year-old before. Why would I? But I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what made me do it. Well, will you do me a favor? Will you... you Keep me posted. I will. All right. uh, I was gonna split. I was gonna make another video, but I might as well just carry on now because I've only got six minutes of this left. So I might as well just carry I mean, on. I mean, that's that's my number, right? Mr. Hanson, I'm serious. If I, I appreciate that, that's if, why I asked you to, to. I don't, and I know it's not up to you. It's gonna be up to your producers. I'm serious, and I'm gonna get help. I know you hear that probably from every single schmuck that walks through that door. That the last I'm plea of a desperate like I said, man. I can solve it. That, that idiot got and tried again the next day. I, and I don't know if that's even going to happen. I don't know if I should even go home and call my parents, call my lawyer, call my principal and say, I'm sorry, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I've never thought about it with those kids. I've never, I never would have crossed that line with any of them because they're real to me. I see their emotions. I see, I don't want to throw that away and I'm afraid I just did. But if, if there's any way that, I can help you and that if if the police, the prosecutor, your your bosses, and I know it's not up to you, could like I said, even if you'd hide my identity, you can use my words if you skew my voice. I don't know, it's and then even do a follow up. Interview me, I'll 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 start talking to someone. Hell I'm sitting here doing it what could be on national television. I guess I can now do it with a therapist. 
You wish you had done it before with the therapist oh. instead of sitting here with me? And oh, yeah. Telling him, oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm not kidding. I've thought about that more than once. I mean, I guess I could have been like the other guys and taken off running. But then I guess I wouldn't have gotten to tell my side of why I'm here. You would have known who I was anyway, and it would have probably been worse. I have thought about, I'll be, honest, I'll be frank, I mean, since I was probably 20, 21, and of course then, you know, it was, you know, I'm, it was, you know, I'm 20, she's 17, I'm chatting for no big deal. It was like I kept getting older, and then, Kids you know, get cliche, younger. they got younger, they stayed the same age, and, you know, 99.9% .9 of the people I would even talk to on there are 19, 20, 21 at the youngest. But it was the other ones that I always thought, well, why am I, why am I chatting? And the fact that many a times I thought, I'm married, why am I chatting to women anyway? Maybe I should talk to somebody. And I always thought, I just can't put that out there in front you of a therapist. I, yeah, I couldn't admit it to myself, and I, don't, I, didn't, I, I couldn't admit it to a stranger. And I'll hear it. I mentioned this in... A video once, well, a few times. I don't understand why these people don't get help. You know, well, I do understand it, but what I'm trying to say is, if you, what I've never understood, I try to, I've never been able to 100% grasp with these people is if you've got these attractions to children, why do you have to act upon it rather than seeking help? I've always compared it to me seeing a right really attractive girl and just bundling you know grabbing hold of her and some you know subjecting her to an assault to satisfy my sexual impulses but of course you, you just don't do it because it's <laughs> you, you don't want to do that to another person it's just not you just don't do it so why do these people feel it do they want to do this do they want to act upon it why don't they get help and someone suggested well how can you get help? How can you go to a professional and say, I've got these? Because it would be too much, in a lot of cases, for them to sort of um, admit to. Because, you know, what? What? how could you go to somebody and say, oh, yeah, I want to fuck kids. It would be pretty, you know. <laughs> it would take a lot of balls to do that, wouldn't it? I am. I just hope it's not too late for me. I know... America, if this makes it on, is going to think that, you know, I should never be within a mile of a kid again. And I'm sorry, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. And I've honestly, especially the parents of the kids that are probably going to see this that know me, I've never thought about it with one of them. Never. Never would have done it. I mean, hell, nobody at school even knows I'm, except my principal and a couple of my close friends, knows I'm getting divorced. What do you think they're going to say at school? I think they'll be surprised, because I'm not, this isn't me, I don't know, I hope they're surprised, I don't, but I guess the question that some people might ask, does that not imply that he has manifested this behavior before, he hopes they're surprised, in other words, there's a possibility that they're not going to be which means that his behavior has been questionable potentially if you eventually evolve to the point where you'd come here to meet a 13 year old girl after this kind it of would have gotten worse. at what point do you suddenly become interested in kids in in the school you see right. right it's a legitimate question that's why i want help maybe i don't know you've seen this a lot of times what do i do now well, I'm not in the business of giving. You're not a, a person that gives psychiatric advice. Psychiatric advice, but 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 I think if you were to inquire anywhere, just like you would if you were feeling you were ill in any other way, they would probably help you. But what do I do with that? I mean, do I like I said? Do I go home and and call my boss and say I can't come in anymore? But th those are things that I just can't. I know. I'm not in a position to give you advice on it. Now, now I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you shedding light on this situation because I think it's helpful in a number of different ways. And again, I'm being serious about this. That's my number and that's my email. And keep me posted as to how this is going, and, and I'm willing to have a, a, a continuing discussion with you. In terms of what's going to be in the story or not in the story, 
We're just starting, so I can't. I mean, when is this thing supposed to... It's like I've said, he's going to know that it's going to make the cut. But it's easy for him to just sit on the fence, isn't it? It's the error and all that. that. You know, those things are going to be decided once we get the story together, and it's not done yet. So, I mean, if, like I said, you know, if you want to keep in touch with me, I, as I know that information, I'm going to share it with you. It's, I'm not going to hide it from you, you know. I know. So, you know, I'm just being as straight up about it as I can. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, a lot of those guys came in here, and I know there was one that was like a rabbi, and there was, mm -hmm. and a lot of those guys weren't in a position that they were with kids. And I feel like. So he as remembers much as I love David my job, K. So he's watched. And it's embarrassing you know, and as hard as it's going to be to it, hasn't he? tell anyone. I don't know if I should go back and put myself there. But like I said, it's the only thing I've ever loved teaching. It's the only thing I've ever been good at. And I hate to throw that all the way for a stupid freaking mistake and something that I I really did. Do you got any choice, pal? So much. This tortured you. It really did. I, I mean, know I know some of those guys were like, "Heck yeah, gung ho, I'm in," and probably a lot of them had done it before. And I'm sure some of them hadn't. Some of them were probably in my boat that it was just like a mistake. Well, Jim, I appreciate that. I'm sorry. I mean, tell that kid I'm sorry, too. All right? I will. I don't know what I'm going to do. I sp always, like, wondered about that. He thinks it's a real kid. I'm sorry. Is that so long? She was, like, 19, wasn't she? Yeah. I'm so sorry. he thinks they've just got a real oh, kid in that if age to do the job, this, haven't, don't they? I am sorry. Or doesn't he? Don't think of me as a monster. I'm not. Well, what they think he apologizes is the least of your problems. Right, well, do me a favor. You just, just want to get rid of him now, don't they? I mean, am I supposed to leave now, or should I? Yeah, no, you're free to leave. Yeah. I mean, if you want to take the water, you can take the water. Right. Sorry, guys. Dead man walking. Sheriff's office, down! Get down! Sheriff's department, stop putting your hands on your Well, he got off lightly, didn't they? Certain people got thrown on the floor and the rats fell off. <laughs> Anyway, guys, so we've reached the end. Uh, thank you for um, bearing with us and getting through it with us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have. Um, also, let me know if you um, want me to go over the inter the police interrogation, which um, we've got uh, access to as well. Um that might be interesting. But I think it's been pretty insightful, haven't these three videos? Is it four? This is the fourth, isn't it? I think they've been pretty insightful. Um, I didn't do these on my old channel. Um, but they've been pretty good, I think. Um, you know, there's quite a lot of meat on this bone, isn't there? Anyway, as I said, please leave any comments, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll speak to you soon.